What's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to another Clasher Health video. In today's video guys, I'm gonna be giving a full guide on the Sparky from tips, tricks, some difficulties about the Sparky, some advantages, and just everything you need to know about the Sparky. So the first thing you guys know about the Sparky, it is a legendary card, and it's not easy to get. Sometimes people get them in the shop, that's how I got my from the shop. 40,000 gold, about $15 worth. And some positive things about the Sparky. She is very punishing if you make a slight mistake. Grace is a supporting troop, forces opponents to respond quickly. And she's also psychologically intimidating. The mere sight of her can actually cause opponents to panic. I know when I see a spark and I don't try, if I don't try to stop her, that's when, you know, I start panicking because the sparky does a massive amount of damage and you cannot mess up. So I can understand why some people panic when they see that. Great on defense against any type of tank. So if a player drops like a giant or a P.E.K.K.A., the Sparky can destroy any of those tanks in just a couple of hits pretty easily because the Sparky does at the base level 1300 damage. And also she is dynamic. So basically if you're only one shot away and you try to flank the other side or something, all it takes is one shot if you're behind because of the damage output by the Sparky. So all those things are some positive things. Now let's get on to some difficult parts. Now, coming in with some difficult parts about the Sparky, um, she is very, very easy to counter and lose your elixir advantage from it, such as the troops like Zap, the Valk, the guards can also stop, Dark Prince, the goblins, the skeletons, the mini P.E.K.K.A., the barbs, and the fire spares and the ice spear, they can all stop the Sparky and pretty much give you a huge elixir advantage. If you're the defense and if you're on offense, you're going to lose a lot of elixir. High cost for potentially no gain, such as losing elixir, doesn't defend against air, so air troops can easily destroy the Sparky. Charge time means she is very vulnerable on opponent's turf after one shot. So after she gets one shot out, you know, there's about a five second, I guess, timer that she you know gets ready to shoot another one. And that leaves her very vulnerable to other things. So that's some difficult parts about the Sparky. Here are just a few tips about the Sparky that you guys should kind of think about. So the first is never lead with Sparky. Now, there's a huge problem if you do lead with Sparky. First of all, guys, there are way too many counters to the Sparky. You can use pretty much any of the troops I listed previously to stop the Sparky. So you want something like the Wizard, the Ice Wizard, a P.E.K.K.A., a Mini P.E.K.K.A., the Barbs, or something like that. The Royal Giant, the Giant, to actually be in front of the Sparky so the Sparky can do damage from the behind and let the giant or any other tank troop actually push your way up and you can easily beat your players just like that the second tip about the sparky is play her on defense so if a player drops a giant or any other tank troop inside the game you should actually drop the sparky way in the back and let the sparky do a massive amount of damage she can pretty much two to three shot any tank troop inside the game because she'll keep firing right at the tank troop now even if the player has a zap spell ready i mean the sparky won't be stopped only five seconds but it will still uh, give you plenty of time for the sparky to destroy the tank before it actually even touches one of your towers so definitely play her on defense if the player does drop any heavy troop inside the game so another couple of tips here is protect the sparky as much as you can now this may seem pretty obvious but um, to get a big push going, you actually need the Sparky to be alive because even if all the troops all around it die by the Sparky, and if the Sparky even manages to hit once on the tower, that is 1300 damage, guys. And that is a huge advantage over the player. Even if you're out of Elixir or you're, all your troops, supporting troops died, getting 1300 damage each time is a ton of damage to your opponent's side. So I would definitely protect her with any possible like splash troop such as wizards, ice wizards, just anything to protect her. The minion horde is pretty popular too. But at all costs, you need to protect the Sparky to win the battle. So to wrap this all up, the Spark is a very, very balanced troop inside the game. As a matter of fact, actually, the Spark has too many counters to be even, you know, used as a really, really good troop. There are too many cons for the Sparky, but I've seen the Sparky destroy and three crown pretty much a lot of players if you use her right. So there are amazing decks such as the Royal Giant Sparky, the Valken Sparky, the Royal, I mean, the Giant and Sparky, and there's a couple other decks. So... Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I really hope I helped some of you guys out with the Sparky, gave you a couple tips and tricks. If we could smash 50 likes, that would be amazing. You guys can tell me in the comment section below what you think about the Sparky or even if you have her. So anyway, as always, I'll see you all on the next video.